good evening. Today is um, October 11, 2019. Um, I was wondering um, what to talk about. That's because I erased the video that I did because I didn't like something that I said the, the wording was wrong you know whatever it was in Spanish anyway but um I was talking about the matrix you know also again um talking about how similar it is because I like um I had the resonance with the word if you hear some more some other noises somebody having a party like two houses away from here like getting loud you know and um so I, I had the curiosity like I said you know and uh of uh, trying to find out what what the uh, what they were trying to say with that movie because it, it, it I resonated with it immediately uh, I like the special effects and all that I like science fiction it's, it's good yeah. but besides that uh, I was intrigued by it you know so uh, I wonder and then I, I'll search for answers and of course I found the obvious answers the allegory of the cave and all that different all those different stuff about uh, Philip K. Dick uh, the science fiction writer and uh, you know they they based a lot of movies on his work because of the, those types of um, uh, themes, you know, that he was bringing to to his work. So, <clears throat> and yes, it's like your mind could really, you know, uh, imagine a lot of stuff. But then, if you take God out the out of the equation, then you you end up confused because nothing makes sense without the Creator. So, uh, that's the point you know is, is that I wanted to make you know that okay so we're as a spiritual beings we we live in this physical uh, realm <clears throat> like I said it's real it's not fake it's a it's not it's not a fake reality as they say you know it's just that um, uh, a place where we're trapped. Our souls, our souls are trapped here for whatever reason. I, I don't know where where the God picked us to have to come to this experience, this school. You know, so we are in this uh, reality, and I uh, know. We are, uh, but the, the stakes are, you know, are high. You know, the the, the, the consequences, whether good or bad, are uh, are going to either take us to a matrix of destruction or to ma uh, to a different matrix in which uh, everything is uh, good call it heaven you know call it the new earth so it is the new earth so that's what we're supposed to go you know and uh, but first we have to get out of this matrix you know like I said the matrix is just the the world 
our existence from Adam to the destruction of this world of this world uh, everything is done for God he did it it's already for us it's linear we're making decisions we have free will our decisions matter our decisions count but then again it's also done for God if uh, if you can't conceive that that it's understandable because we're talking about God you know so God for God there's nothing impossible so how can it be that I'm not making uh, I haven't made a decision you know I'm gonna make a decision but God it's already or in a disc you know that God holds you know it's uh, it's this is our reality but he, he knows the end from the beginning to the end you know it's already out there you know he did everything he helped us or punished uh, or us or you know whatever took place in this reality uh, it's an it's already uh, done for him you know so that's that's how the instead of uh, the movie being like our reality uh, our reality is like a movie you know for God because for God time is a uh, you know like a you know I always keep making that <laughs> the quoting uh, the scriptures wrong mm, but you know that the, the point is the time is irrelevant pretty much you know so and uh, so we are in this place how do how do we get out of this place of you know so much you know there, there are good things and bad things here but this this place is is um it's sad you know where people their things die animals die and uh, then there's gonna be a place where there's no death you know and no uh, no sorrow no no crying no weeping so how do we get out of this place you know it's um as all of this all of these things they bring up you know like uh time travel trend time traveling uh, if you look at the scriptures you'll find time travel traveling if if you look for extraterrestrials you'll find extraterrestrials in the in the book in the bible you know and uh it's only by a different name because uh, you know what do you call an angel an angel is not from this earth so it, it, it's in essence an, an extraterrestrial so are demons you know demons came and took human form and uh, you know started mixing with women they're also spiritual beings uh, you know they're uh, 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 interfering you know here also so just like we let uh, Adam originally left the uh, uh, let uh, the devil interfere in our existence and that's why you know this uh, he has control of this physical uh, matrix you know this the this the world is not his you know but it's, it's, it's his we allow him to control this place so all these things in the in, in the you know our nature also is like you know we, we um, we don't um, we're, we're bad pretty much you know, in, one, in one word you know so <clears throat> like for instance as I got a ticket the other day you know <clears throat> it's like okay uh, sometimes you don't come to this uh, uh, conclusions on your own you have to learn from other people who has uh, who love knowledge and like and like to know um, philosophy because they they we're we're being um, how do you call um, programs since we're birth, uh, uh, born 
So I'm making a lot of mistakes today, I don't know. So um I might have to erase it. <laughs> so like the work of uh, uh Mark Passio he talked about the uh, natural law, you know, the laws of God. And he says that, um, okay, uh, if things are fine in, in uh, human uh, uh, laws, if they are aligned to natural law. So, like, I made no, I, I didn't actually sin because I was, uh, there was no accident, there was no victim, no crime, you know, so... You, once you understand that, you understand you're being ripped off by the government, you know, so the, the, the government is actually stealing from you, in, in essence, because um, if just because some guy from some arbitrary uh, legality they have to, to make you, uh, force you to pay a fine, that doesn't make it true, and then I don't feel guilty, you know, for what, I, what happened, and, uh, and uh, and I don't think that they deserve that. If anything, you know, in order to control the the uh, or regulate, it's it's cause they all, they always use an excuse of a good thing and turn it into a bad thing. It's good to learn to how to uh, drive safely and all that. But then you know, uh, okay, why not just a warning? And uh, I've gotten any tickets for a long time, so why you still give me a ticket instead of just giving me a warning or whatever, you know? But no, they need their money, so they uh, extort, uh, you know, extort you out of your money, you know? So whatever he told me, yeah, you can take it to court. Yeah, right. Like I want to be in front of that, you know, guy with in a black robe. <laughs> no, thank you. So, um, so yes, um, but there is a way, uh, the, this, uh, this, of this matrix, you know, a way in which you can get to the good matrix, you know, instead of the bad matrix, we have two choices here, like the red pill or the blue pill. If you take the red pill, you take the blood. Of Jesus you know and you want to see the key to get out of the matrix you know here's the key use it you know funny it looks like a key right so yeah that's how you get out of here so um some people say, you know, the that cross is just where your Lord died, and just you know, yeah, that, this that's the sacrifice for our sins. So we're never gonna be perfect, you know. No matter if you become a vegetarian or vegan or whatever you wanna become, and you think you're good because you don't eat meat, no, you're not. You're always sinning. There's no stopping. You call yourself a Christian you don't sin no we always sin we trying you know but no, no, <laughs> nobody's successful some do worse you know so that's our that's our fight to try but um uh, we have to surrender be humble to the will of God because uh, to what he did for us so that's the only way. If you feel because you're smart, you know, to, to, like I always say, this is a matrix of distractions. So just, everybody's distracting you from what's right in front of your face. You know, it's been here. We are in the Christian era. We're not a Buddhist era. You know, uh, look at all the world all around you. You know, who's in control of why? Who's in control of the banks? 
you know where are they going why always the focus on that uh, place in the Middle East right it's tiny little place right pay attention there's, there's the truth everything else is a distraction so uh, try to uh, keep that in mind see if, if you resonate with what I'm saying for now uh, have a good night God bless you